But if you go 20, 25 years back or 20, 25 years ago, these people do not use what? Software applications. Software applications in their business. Yes or no? Yes. But today, if you go to any hospital, if you go to any hotel, if you go to any bank, if you go to any insurance company, wherever you go, we can use what? Or they can use what? Software applications in their business. We can see systems. We can see software applications wherever you go. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. My question is, what is the advantage of using software applications in their business? They did the business. They did the business without using software application. Now they are doing the business using software application. To make it easy. 25 years back, 30 years back, they did the business through what? Speak out. Manually. File system. Yes or no? Mm. They did not use any software applications. They did not use any computers in their business. But now, if you go any bank, if you go any telecom industry, if you go any hospital, or if you go to any shopping mall, wherever you go, if you go to any supermarket, wherever you go, they're using software application, they're having its own systems. But what is my question is, what is the extra advantage of using software applications in the business? The advantage of software applications. Time saving security. It's Very good. We increase the sales growth. It saves your time. There are three major advantages, guys. It saves your time. Second advantage, it provides what? Security. 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 Also, it provides security. what? You can achieve scalability. Yes. And also, you will always get accurate information whenever you want. Yes or no? Yes. Whenever you want, you will get accurate information. Decision making is easy for you. Yes or no? Yes, sir. You can take the right decision, correct decision. And also, better service. Yeah, you can provide the better service. You can improve your business. Yes or no? These are the major advantages of using what? Software application. I hope all of you understand this point. How many advantages? Six advantages. What is the first advantage? Times. Time, time saving. saving. For your better understanding, I'm giving a simple example. How time will save? Take, take, take a small example. Abhos, Abhishek, are you there in the class? Yes, sir. Uh, Abhishek, where you belongs to? Which place? Yeah, I'm from Kolkata. Kolkata. Good. Abhishek belongs to Kolkata. I belongs to Hyderabad. Abhishek and myself both are the friends. Okay, Abhishek. Yes, Hello. Yes, sir. You are living in where? Yeah, it's Kolkata. Kolkata. Fine. So you have the account in State Bank of India. And I have the account in maybe Punjab National Bank. All of you understand? He is my friend 20 years back, I'm talking. Yesterday night, Abhishek called me. Uh, he requested me to deposit 1,000 rupees in his account. So what I have to do? Speak out. What I have to do? I have to go to the bank. There I'm going to take. There I'm going to take some. To draw form, yes or no? Yes, I need to fill the form, I need to stand in the queue, I need to wait for some time. After that, I withdraw 10,000 rupees from my account. After that, I need to go to where? Speak out. Yeah, uh, SBI. SBI. There, I'm going to take some deposit form. I need to fill the form, I need to stand in the queue. After that, I can deposit some amount in his account. Tell me, the whole process takes near about one, one and a half time or not. Tell me, I need to visit how many banks? Two different banks. In the one bank, in one bank, I need to, I need to withdraw. In another bank, I need to deposit. Say yes or no? Yes. Speak out. The whole process takes near about one, one and a half time. That is long back process. The same, if you want to transfer 10,000 rupees into my friend's account today, 
I don't I don't need to I don't need to go to the bank. I don't need to go to the bank. I simply go to where I can use what? Speak out. UPI payments. Or I can use Google Pay. Or I can use what? Speak out. Net banking. Net banking. I can use what? Banking. Mobile banking. I can use what? Paytm. There are different ways I can easily transfer the funds from my account to my friend's account. Yes or no? Yes. If I'm using all these software applications, is it saves my time or not? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So that is the first advantage of using software application. What is the first advantage? It saves time. your time. time the second advantage, security. What is the security here? Take the previous example only. I went to the bank, I withdraw how much? 10,000. 10, I'm talking about 20 years back. 20 years back, 10,000 rupees is very huge amount. Yes, sir. Okay. I withdraw 10,000 rupees. I kept to my I kept into my pocket. I am walking down from Punjab National Bank to where? State Bank of India. While I'm walking down on the road, somebody theft my wallet. The whole amount is lost. Yes or no? Yes. Speak yes. out all of you. Yes, yes sir. It means that 20, 25 years back, if you want to buy something, if you want to do any operation, if you want to do any transaction outside in the market. You have to carry the cash with you. Sir, no. Yes, sir. Speak out. Without carrying the, carrying the cash with us, it is not possible to perform any kind of operation in the market. Say, sir, all of you. Yes, sir. Once yes, you sir. carry the cash with you, then there is no proper security. That is why, instead of carrying the cash, we people are using what? Phone pay. Mm -hmm. We people are using what? Google pay. Mm -hmm. Can you use what? Paytm. He can use what? ATM cards. Yes or no? Either debit card or credit cards. So, we do not carry the cash. We can use what? Phone pay, Google pay. These are all what? Software applications. Using these software applications, we can buy something outside. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Suppose I'm going outside. I drink one coffee. The coffee, the coffee cost is 15 rupees or 20 rupees. I no need to carry the cash. I can pay through what? ATM. ATM. Or I can pay through what? Phone pay. Mm -hmm. Or I'm going to a supermarket. I want to buy some vegetables. Or I want to buy some fruits. I don't need to carry the cash. I can pay through what? Phone, Phone pay. pay or Google pay or, Google or ATM. Pay. Yes or no? Yes, so once you do not carry the cash with you, indirectly you're getting security for your cash or not. Correct. Instead of using cash, what we are using here? Software applications. Yes or no? If you are yes. using software application, indirectly you are getting the security for your cash or not. This is the second advantage of using software application. I hope all of you understand these two examples. Time saving and security. Yes or no, all of you guys? Yes, sir. Yes, uh -huh. you understand the point clearly? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, you from uh, US. Yes, yes sir. or no? Yeah, yes, sir. I said yes. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Second point is scalability. What is scalability here? Scalability means, as I said, my friend is living in where? Kolkata. And where I'm living? Hyderabad. I want to transfer, I want to deposit 10,000 rupees in this account. What I have to do? I have to withdraw 10,000 rupees from my account, Punjab National Bank. I need to travel all the way from Hyderabad to where? Kolkata, and I need to go to SBI, where he opened the account, and branch only I have to go. There only I can deposit the amount. Why? Because 40 years back, 30 years back, every bank, every branch working independently, one bank and one branch is no way related to what? Other bank and other branch. Every bank, every branch working independently. That is long back story. Once software come into the market, once software boom come into the market, we can integrate all the branches. We can integrate all the branches so that we can easily transfer the funds from any bank to any bank, from any branch to any branch across the globe because of what? This is all about what? Scalability. 
So this kind of scalability we can achieve through what? We can achieve through software application. Software application. Our friend understand the first advantage, second advantage, and third advantage. We got all of you. Security and as well as what? Scalability. Okay. Am I clear this point of my explanation regarding all these three? Yes, sir. Good. Everyone in the classroom. Am I going fast? Please tell me no. Am I going no, fast? No, sir. No, no sir. sir. Shall I go in the same pace? Yeah. Yes, sir. It's okay, all of you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can wrap up a little bit speed. You want me to increase the speed? Yeah, a little bit. No problem. Because this is the first class now, that is the reason I'm going slow. Okay, thank you. Sir. Because some people belong to non IT background. If I'm going fast, they may not understand. Try to cooperate with me. Okay? Thank you. Sir. Thank you. So, accurate information. So, if you are using software application, you'll always get accurate information. Accurate means you'll get the correct information. As a decision maker, we get the correct information so that you can take the right decision at the right time. If you take the right decision at the right time, you can improve the business like anything. So these are the major advantages of using what? Software applications. Yeah. Is the I hope all of you understand all these advantages. Yes, sir. No? Yes, sir. Very good. But this is only one side of the coin. This is only one side of the coin. And what is the other side of the coin here? What is this? Ah. Difficulties of using e-code. Software application. Software applications in the business. Question all of you. As of now, we discussed about only advantages. Now I'm going to discuss about what? Difficulties of using software applications. What are the difficulties? This is case we try to understand. Suppose I have a company called ABC Company. This company is going to start maybe next year. For my company activities and all, I need some software application. So I given this project to a development company called TCS. TCS is a development company. According to TCS point of view, who is ABC? Client. That's the company. Obviously client. That's our wrong. And TCS need to develop the software application, the project, as per the client requirement. If they want to develop the project, or if they want to develop the software application, as per the client requirement, is TCS need some programming language? Yes. Sir, no. Yes. And also TCS need some database? Yes. And also they need what some operating system. Without programming language, without database, without operating system, Nobody can develop what? Software application as per the client requirement. Say yes or no? Yes. We got all of you. Yes, so in yes. this particular example, TCS decided to develop the application using C sharp programming language. C sharp programming language developed by which company? Microsoft. Microsoft company. But TCS should not use any kind of pirated software. Yes or no? Yes. Pirated software. TC has, TCS has to purchase. TCS has to buy. Original. What is this? License. Licensed software from which company? Microsoft. Microsoft company. They need to invest something near about 5 lakhs. And also they need to use some database. Take the example of Oracle database. Oracle database product developed by which company? Oracle. Oracle company. So TCS need to buy original licensed, original licensed software from which company? Oracle. Oracle company. Cost around how much? No. Near about 15 lakhs, okay. approximately. 15 lakhs. Operating system. Suppose Windows operating system they want to use. Again, Windows operating system developed which company? Microsoft. Microsoft. Okay. Cost around 5 lakhs. Now tell me, in this example, TCS need to invest how much approximately? 
30 lakhs. 5 lakhs on C sharp programming language, 15 lakhs on Oracle database, and 5 lakhs on operating system. Altogether, altogether how much here? 15 lakhs. 30, 30 lakhs. lakhs. Including Oracle database, 30 lakhs. 30 lakhs invested by TCS, a dollar to application as per the client requirement. And tomorrow, my client and client employees are going to use this software application. If they want to use this software application, they also need c -sharp programming language, and also they need Oracle database, and also they need what? Windows operating system. Without having this software, this application cannot run. Yes or no? Yes. That is why your client also need to invest how much? 30 lakhs. 30 lakhs. And also they need to buy original licensed software from these vendor companies. In this example, total 60 lakhs business coming to companies here. People. Yes. Vendor companies. 60 lakhs business coming to vendor companies. All of you understand? Yes, Tell sir. me, among these three people, clients, development companies, and vendor companies. Vendor companies. Among these three people, among these three people, who will get more business? Vendor, vendor, companies. vendor companies. And one more important point is, we are in software field. Yes or no? The software field, versions keep on changing or not? Yes. Speak out all of you. Yes. Whenever version will change, they need to update the software or not? Yes. Whenever they update, again, we have, they have to install. install. And also, they need to, what is this? Maintain the software. What is the meaning of maintaining the software? They have to maintain the they have to maintain the database servers. Bug Sir, pieces. Bugs. Maintaining the database servers, they need to they recruit, they need to hire DBS. DBS means what? Database administrators. They need to pay the salaries, lakhs of rupees. That's all no. Speak out all of you. Yes, sir. Yes. So now comes under what? Maintenance. So both the clients and development companies, they need to keep on upgrade the software. Upgrading the software. They need to keep on installing the software. They need to keep on maintaining the software. Yes or no? Yes. So, upgradation, installation, maintenance. Upgradation, installation, ma installation maintenance. Upgradation plus installation plus maintenance. It leads to leads to increase uh, what is this? So, setup cost. The setup cost increasing for both the clients and development companies day by day, day by day like anything. Why? Because both clients and development companies they need to upgrade the software, they need to install the software, they need to maintain the software on their own. All of you understand? Yes. And automatically what will happen? The cost is going to increase day by day like anything for both clients and as well as what? Development companies. Say yes or no? Yes, sir. So to avoid this problem, that is the reason, that is the reason, that is the reason only top level companies or I can say premium level companies are using software applications in their business, but not. What companies? Small companies. Why small companies not using software applications in their business? Because they cannot afford what? Cost. Cost. All of you understand the point clearly? Yes. For, yes. for your better understanding, I'm giving a simple example about this. You know about KFC. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Suppose I am going to the KFC. I ordered one burger. All of you understand, guys? I ordered yes, one, one burger. Here, all of you. 
if you ordered one burger there is a person who is standing using software application yeah there there is a person who is standing in front of the system takes my order he prints order into the system he gives some token to me i need to wait for some time after that i will get the order say yes or no yes sir yes sir good all of you okay now tell me is kfc using software applications in the business or not yes sir yes suppose in hyderabad i am going to a small bakery someone need to someone need to mute guys i am going to the bakery i ordered one burger understand all of you same burger i ordered but the bakery owner do not maintain any software applications they do not maintain any systems in the bakery they simply take the order they give the order to me that's it yes sir no yes sir tell me in this example why kfc using software applications in their business why not bakery because, because kfc has yes, lots of branches afford lots of branches across the globe yes sir no yes kfc business turnover in broad kfc business turnover in crores crores yeah but whereas bakery mm. maximum thousands are lakh mm. sir no maximum thousands only not in lakhs also that is why the bakery owner cannot afford what cost as that is the reason bakery owner cannot use what no no i listen come on you to mute guys some noise around you small kid noise don't disturb the class thank you according to this example what you understand is only top level companies are using software applications in their business but not small companies i hope you understand this point clearly yes or no yes sir yes sir okay. good so to avoid this problem if you increase the sorry if you decrease the cost can customers automatically increase or not are you better understanding i'm giving a simple example about this mm. suppose mm, i i wore calvin clean t-shirt which t-shirt peacock as a company t-shirt they wore now brand calvin clean this company t-shirt cost is 5000 rupees now tell me how many people can afford for small just a t-shirt cost is 5000 rupees out of 100 people maximum maximum 5 people yes or no i do okay this company getting how much business 25000 in case if the company reduces the cost from 5000 to maybe 2000 then how many people can afford out of 100 at least 60 people or at least 80 people yes 3000 rupees reduced here so 18 to 2000 how much 160k it means that if you reduce the cost then customers are increasing if customers will increase you will get more business or not yes sir yes or not all of you yes sir good yes sir so that is why here also if you reduce the cost then automatically what will happen customers will increase but how to reduce the cost how to reduce the setup cost that is why vendor companies come up with a new concept name is called what what is this cloud computing cloud computing what is cloud computing cloud computing main goal is to reduce the setup cost if you reduce the cost then automatic customers will increase but what is cloud computing here cloud computing is a technology or i can say it is a concept in this technology here whatever it services we require everything will provided by whom 
vendor company as a user we just need only internet connection access those which is this is the simple meaning of what cloud computing what is this it's a technology or a concept here whatever it services we require everything will provided by whom here hmm vendor vendor company as a user we just need only what internet connection and access those services and how much services we are using for that service only we need to pay this is called a pay per use model which model pay per use model pay per use model pay per use how much services we are using for that service only we need to pay we no need to pay anything extra this is called a pay per use model can also be called as a plug and play model can also be called as it services on demand all of understand once again i am repeating cloud computing is a technology or a concept here whatever it services we need everything given by vendor company as a user we just need only internet connection and access those services and how much services we are using for that service only we need to pay okay that concept name is called what pay per use model or plug and play model or it services on demand model is this point clear everyone yes sir yes sir sir provided by vendor company not provided by will provide by vendor company Okay, clear all of you. For your better understanding, I'm giving a simple example. Every day, I want to check my meals and also I want to take some print out. Do you understand the point clearly? Every day, I want to take some. i want to check my mails and also i want to take some what is this printout print i want to take some printout if i want to check my mails or if you want to take some printout i need to buy some laptop yes or no yes sir, yes, sir. and also i need to buy some printer and also i need to buy some stationery and also i need to take some internet connection yes or no from my isp and every month i need to pay the rent so rent cost in year about 1500 it's the cost approximately 500 rent cost approximately 20000 laptop cost approximately 50000 so all together i need to spend in year about 72 75000 rupees yes or no for just browsing only 5 to 10 minutes directly yes, instead of investing unnecessarily 75000 rupees instead of investing 75000 rupees unnecessarily simply i am going to internet center near my home internet cafe there i am going to check my mails and there i can take the print out now tell me in the internet center who purchased all the systems owner owner yes or no who purchased yeah. the printer owner tell me Who purchased the stationery? Who took the connection? Everything owner. given by or maintained by whom here? Mm. Owner. As a user, simply I go there and access the services. How much services I require and pay the amount and come back. If I am using only twenty minutes, I have to pay twenty rupees. If I am using one hour internet, I have to pay thirty rupees. Yes or no? Yes. Sir. If I am yeah. using two hours, I have to pay hundred rupees. Like that, how much services I am using? for that service only i have to pay i no need to pay anything extra okay this is called what pay per use model so i hope all of you understand this example here everything provided by whom internet center owner yes or no your yes. laptop your computer your printer your stationery internet connection everything given by whom owner as a user we just go there and access the services and pay the amount and come back in the same way here also in cloud computing also 
whatever services you require, everything provided by vendor company. As a user, we just need only internet connection and access to those services. All of you understand this example? Yes, sir. Cloud computing is not a rocket science. It's a very simple concept, guys. If you understand this internet center example, you can easily understand cloud computing concept. In the earlier days, in the traditional approach, both clients and development companies, they have to update the software, they have to install the software, they have to maintain the software on their own. Understand all of you. But once cloud computing come into the market, installation, maintenance, and upgradation, everything will be taken care of by whom here? Speak out. Vendor, vendor company. Vendor company. Everything provided by vendor company. So automatically, once cloud computing come into the market, both clients and development companies, they released, but they released from the burden of what? Maintaining the software, installing the software, and also what? Updating the software. All of you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Once CC, CC means what? Cloud computing coming to the market. Then both clients and as well as what? Hmm. Development companies are release. The, what is this? Hard enough. We got maintaining. What next? Upgrading. Also. Installing. Installing. Everything will be taken care of by whom here? Vendor company. I hope all of you understand this point very clearly. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. That is the meaning of what? Cloud computing. But somebody got a doubt. Maybe uh, Abhishek got a doubt here. What is Abhishek's doubt is, sir, I understand the exact meaning of cloud computing. And also understand the advantages of cloud computing. That is okay, sir. But last five minutes, you keep on saying that vendor company provides what? Services. Rental -based services. What kind of services? What kind of services vendor company provides? Vendor company basically provides three types of services. Okay. We got three types Offer of services. Service. First type of service can be called as IAAS. Second one can be hmm. called as what? PAAS. PAAS. Ah. Third one is called what? PAAS. 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 IAAS stands for? Infrastructure. 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 As, as a, a service. service. Platform as a service. Yeah, very good. Platform as a service. Software, Software as a service. service. <laughs> Software as a service. Or application as a service. Like that vendor company provides how many types of services? Three, three types. Regarding all these three services, we will discuss in tomorrow class. Okay, guys. As yes. of now, last one hour, we just discussed about only two points. The first point is, what is what? We got. Huh. What is sales? Sales force. What? Okay. Next point. What are the advantages of using speak out? Software. Software application. Software application. applications. Also, we discussed about hmm, what are the difficulties of using. Software application. Software application. And how these difficulties are overcome by what is this? Cloud computing. Cloud computing. These are the four points as of now we discussed. I hope all of you understand all the four points. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
Guys, so shall I go in the same pace? Is all of you understand? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. Good. What are points as of now we discussed? All these points I am showing in the PowerPoint presentation here. Look at this. Tell me, who are the key players in IT industry? Vendors, clients, vendor companies, vendor, support based companies, vendor companies, development company companies or service based companies, clients. Someone need to mute, guys. Excuse me, don't make noise. Okay, what are vendor companies? Vendor companies are visionary people who discuss in software products. Yes or no? Yeah. yeah. Like what? Google company, Salesforce, Oracle, Microsoft, IBM, SAP, all vendor companies. Yes, sir. No? Yes, sir. And who is the second person? Development companies. Who develops software applications as per the business? Requirement. Requirement. Who are the people? Infosys, Accenture, Deloitte. Excuse me, Alpana, please mute. Clients, end users use the software applications in there. Clients are end users, okay? Uses the software applications in the business. Who are the end users? Hospitals, banks, Hospitals, automobiles, banks, telecom, telecom industries, insurance okay, companies, okay. travel and tourism. Okay, these are all Barclays is the bank, Vodafone is the telecom. Okay, Tata Aliens is the insurance company, Emirates, University of Oxford, it's all business domains. Thanks. Okay. Tell me, benefits of using software applications in the business domains. What are the benefits? It saves the time. Time saving, security, security. Sir, no. scalability. You will get the accurate information. Take the decision easily. You can accelerate your business performance. Yes or no? Problems in traditional system. What are the problems? Both clients and development companies need to what? Great. Upgrade. 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 Need to install and need to maintain the software in their own. Yes or no? It leads to increase what? Speak okay, out. Sir. Set up Set cost. cost. To avoid this problem, to overcome this problem, vendor companies come up with a new concept name is called Cloud computing. computing. What is cloud computing? It's a concept or a technology where we will get what? All, all IT services like hardware and also what? Software. Or the internet. internet and access those services. Now all of you understand cloud computing? Yes. Or the other way around, the practice of using network of remote servers hosted on the internet to store, manage, and process the data rather than local server or a personal computer. Tell me what kind of services vendor company provides? Three types. What is the first one? Speak out. Infrastructure. Infrastructure as a service. Platform as a service. Software as a I hope all of you understand this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tomorrow, tomorrow class. Tomorrow class, we will discuss about infrastructure, what is platform, what is software. We will discuss about all the three services in tomorrow class. Clear all of you? Okay, sir. And one more important point before I will end the topic today. Listen carefully. These are the four topics as of now we discussed. In your syllabus, I'm going to cover six modules. How many? Six modules. First module is configuration. Then development. Integration. Mm -hmm. 
administration trm and what is it lightning these are the six modules i will cover in your syllabus duration is month time understand everyone okay so will you teach apex programming language yeah in development we people are using apex your force this thing see guys one important point i need to tell before i close the session today the people who do not have any it background or non it background have any it background or having it background no problem everybody can easily understand this topic clear all of you yes sir thank very easy to understand so six modules i am going to cover in your syllabus within the span of 3 months of time okay so if you have any further queries you can ask me regarding today's class hello asha sir one by one uh, one by one at a time yeah yeah, yeah actually myself sukumar first of all, yeah. first of yeah. all is all of you enjoy the session today yeah 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 i joined the sessions and uh, getting yeah. some information as you shared so i need to ask one thing more so sir actually uh, myself sukmal jain i have around 11 year of experience in it uh, actually my overall ex experience based on db sites Na right now i am doing edl so is it uh, means uh, is it uh, means how to connect uh, like uh, sales force with uh, uh, db sites like kind of thing it will be uh, up scale my uh, careers or kind of things can you can you get more details about that i understood sukmal and uh, which tool you are using in uh, etl uh, actually uh, sir i am using informatica informatica very old tool yeah this is very old tool yeah i know yep okay actually instead of informatica mm -hmm. even the sales force also we have a concept name is called etl okay extraction transformation and loading okay extracting the data from different oltp systems and loading the data into olap system that is data warehousing system as or no right right yeah, it's correct that very is the correct. concept of etl i yeah, know yeah, etl yeah. i know informatica understand mm -hmm. actually for etl sales was given for performing etl operation sales was given data import wizard yes okay And also, we have something like what data loader. Mm -hmm. So, using these two tools, we can perform what operations here? We extract the data from different databases, loading into your Salesforce, and also you can export. Mm -hmm. And and it is very easy for you to understand the subject. Why? Because you already have the background of database knowledge, and also ETL knowledge. Mm -hmm. you, you can easily cope up with what. It's technology. Okay. Give me the only area you are facing the difficulty is what understanding a program. Okay. Why? Because you do not have any programming knowledge before. I hope. Yes or no? Uh, actually, sir, I have. A, I did some experience with the PLSQL. Then okay. Then okay. Then okay. Then okay, guys. No problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. No problem. Okay. That's fine. You have okay. PLSQL programming. Programming knowledge is there. That is enough. <laughs> Okay, okay, that's great. Actually, yes. I did developments uh, around. No problem, India. Sukumal. Yeah. This is very easy for you to understand because you have okay. database knowledge. Okay, sir. Don't bother about. It. But how okay. do you feel about the today's session? Are you enjoying the session or not? Ah, uh, actually, I know. Um, uh, means I, I, I got some inf uh, more information about Salesforce. I actually, before these sessions, I didn't know much about the Salesforce, but I get enough. Uh, informations uh, which i required so uh, i uh, i feel very comfortable so with the technology kind of things uh, that is good for me yeah thank you thank you sukmal okay seshu understand seshu yes sir actually yes yeah. sure and one important point i want to talk with you personally okay call okay, this what is the best time to call you sir after completion of this class okay sir thank you Nine double five three four nine double five three. Okay, sir. This is my number. Okay. Yeah, let, let me know. Okay. Okay, sir. 
Okay, guys, I hope all of you enjoyed the session today. Regarding today's class, if anybody have any kind of doubts, you please ask the questions. Uh, sir, after completion the course, will we have to give any kind of exam? Yeah, one important point I need to tell. Every day, I will share the running notes. And also, I will share the material. I will share the recordings. I will share the interview questions because I'm working as a corporate trainer for Cognizant. Interview questions. Okay, what happened? And also, I will provide the dumps. Application dumps. If you want to write any certifications in future, I will provide the dumps also. So these are the things I'm giving you here today at the end of the class. At the end of the syllabus, I will take the mock interviews based on your interest. Okay. Mock interviews means it is one kind of uh, regular interview only, real time interview only. Okay. If you if I feel you are if you are good enough, I will forward the resume to different companies. Okay. Don't bother about this. Hello. I can understand the subject clearly. Okay. Hello, sir. Yeah, who's this? This is Pravat and I am from West Bengal. Hey, Pravat, tell me. Yeah, actually I am from the QA automation background. So how it will be useful uh, if I learn this course? Oh, you're in testing side, okay? Yeah, QA automation. Yeah, yeah no problem. We have three chances, uh, Pravat. You can go as a developer after completion of this course. Okay. Or you can go as an administrator. Least priority, you can go as a testing site. Okay. Okay. okay, because you have QA knowledge so that you can go for testing site. But if you go for testing site, you will get very less, less salary compared to developers and administrator. And what okay. is my personal suggestion is better to go for development side. Okay, fine. So what are the things since I know uh, SQL, I know Java. Then so, you can go for development side. Anyway, you know about automation. Yeah, yeah, I know. So you have the knowledge in Java. Yeah. yeah. So that you can easily understand it. Like, no problem. Okay, so in three months, uh, is it possible that I can become a developer? Why not? That depends on your practice. How many hours you are practicing regularly? That is the depends. Okay, okay, fine. Okay, guys. So, good morning. My name is Durgesh. So, in, as uh, previous content, so uh, asked uh, some also uh, came from a manual testing background. So, I just thought of uh, uh, build my career with the sales no problem. Uh, Durgesh, Durgesh, no problem. Yes, sir. Durgesh. My name is Durgesh. So, yeah, undoubtedly, uh, undoubtedly, you can go for what Salesforce. Because you're already working as QA. One more question. So, is there any other timings uh, which I can uh, follow? Because I work in a uh, US uh, shift. Uh, Dukesh, but uh, this is the only one slot I am free. But in future, maybe coming I mean, 20 days, I will start a new batch in the evening. Sir, on the same time. Yes, sir, it's uh, three months uh, every day, right, sir? Or it's and only for, uh, yeah, let me, let me, please. Next 20, 20 days, I will start a new batch in the evening. Hello, evening seven. So you think for or? every day, sir, uh, only for uh, weekends, uh, how it is? So it's every day, uh, eight to nine, three months? Ah, every day, eight to nine, three months. If it is not possible to come down at morning time, I will start a new batch at evening, 7 o'clock. Is it possible time? 7 to 8, sir. Ah, 7 to 8, after 20, after 20 days, not now. It's okay, sir. I will continue in this batch so that I can quickly... After that, you can switch into evening time, no problem. Please continue first 20 days. After that, you can switch, no problem. So long hours per weekends? No, no, no. Day. Six days, six hours per week, that's it. That is enough. Sunday is holiday. Sunday is a holiday. Uh, okay. Sir, okay. it's Monday, uh, Monday to Saturday. Monday to Saturday. Yeah. Six sir, days uh, a week. 
Uh, and sir, we, will we get a recording session? Time. One person at a time. Yes. I have only two years. Yeah. Go ahead. And will sir, we get... Uh, sorry, sir. Please continue. Yeah. Pravat. Yeah. Actually, I want to know, will we get a recording session every day? For yeah, this? every day we are, we are sharing the recording notes. Recordings, materials, everything we are providing. Running notes, everything. Okay, and when we um, when uh, it will get uploaded means on which site? Suppose today eight o'clock, nine o'clock, nine o'clock, eight o'clock, match completed. Then by today evening you will receive the recording. Okay, okay, fine. Okay, guys, that's about the today's session because I have another session immediately at nine thirty. <coughs> okay, guys. Hello, sir. Hello, yeah, sir. Tell me, tell me, tell me, Pranay. Uh, so after taking this uh, Salesforce uh, training session, mm. will I be leading any another training so that lightning part and whatever the upcoming technology... Even lightning is also covered in your syllabus. Also, sir, whatever you are providing six modules, there will be everything from basic to till the expert level, I guess. Basic to brilliance. Oh, okay, sir. Yes, sir. Basic to brilliance. Yeah. Sir, okay, uh, sir, this okay. is Shakti, sir. Actually, I am from mechanical background. Uh, actually, yeah. I don't have any experience in software, sir. No Since problem. I... That's what I'm telling. Non-80 IT students both can understand. Okay. Sir, do we need any server for this uh, thing? Means like SAP or like that? Nothing. Everything is cloud only. You don't need to install any software. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, uh, Shubham, this side, sir. I know that you have already answered this question, but I'm not from... Uh, uh, I don't have any knowledge on programming. So, will it be... It's much difficult. Shubham, Shubham Kaushik. Shubham Kaushik. Right. Please believe me. Okay. I will make a master in three. I will make a master in programming next three months. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Please believe me. Blindly believe me. I will make a master. The only thing you have to practice regularly. Because every time I'm giving assignments to you. Okay, if uh -huh. you complete the assignments, definitely you will be a master. Okay. No doubt. All, thank you. Yeah. Tell me. Sir, Any doubts? Hello, sir. Yeah, yeah. Tell me, tell me. Good morning, sir. This is Vishwas. Mm. Sir, I have a joining as a Salesforce developer. Sir, how I have gained this course as a profitable for me? Yeah, you can, you can you can join as a developer or administrator in any company after completion of this course. You have two types of job profiles. Understand. Okay, sir. Sir, is there any certification for this? Yeah, there are certifications here. Admin side, we have two exams. Development side, also we have two exams. Understand? Okay. So, okay. sir, is there, a, sir, certification is mandatory for the Salesforce developer? It's not mandatory, but some companies are asking nowadays certifications also. If means have if the I know. Means if I know Salesforce, that it means I am a Salesforce developer if I am working on it. Yeah, obviously. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. How you are? Uh, uh, how you are um, uh, helping us to get the get as certified? Suppose I am interested in a uh, Salesforce administrator. So, like, uh, how do you support? Want to write an exam? exam? Yes, sir, as an administrator. Okay, you want to write a certification exam administrator side. You want, yes, write sir, yes, sir. you want to write administration certificate, certificate exam or what? Yeah, I will guide yes, you. Yes, sir, correct. I will provide the dumps, I will guide you. Okay? Okay, fine. fine sir. Okay. So, all of you understand, guys? Yes, sir. Okay. So, tomorrow, same time, 8 o'clock. See, guys, Hello. next much people are waiting for me. Yes, sir, tomorrow, tomorrow, same time, 8 o'clock. Yes, sir, can I call you now? Tishu, what is your time now? Uh, it's uh, I'm in Eastern Center. It's eleven o'clock. Uh, do you have a few minutes for me or no? Yeah, no problem. Go ahead. Uh, I will call you in person, but since I'm not here. Fine, fine. No problem. Please call me after five minutes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Uh, Thank you, guys. Sir, Hello. Sir. Yeah, Harshini. Yeah, sir. Good morning, Harshini. Sir, actually, I joined as a Salesforce tiny in one company. Uh, sir, I don't know about the Salesforce uh, before entering into the... No problem. Uh, no problem, Krishni. 
already i i completed two months there eh? and they are going very fastly no <laughs> problem self- so please self- follow my sessions okay no problem sir please provide your uh, before uh, recording sections uh, so i will go through that recordings and uh, i have any question i have any doubts uh, i uh, i will ask in this session generally uh, uh, they do not provide the recorders without paying the fees that's a problem so no so, sir i i will pay the uh, that is a insured rule actually please call is ask the uh, management they will provide the recorders yeah, pay the money sir actually but yeah, i what, have yeah. that's what i'm telling that's what i'm telling is asked yeah, the yeah. the management they will provide the recordings okay yeah so i i i follow your your class every day but i have have any doubts so i will ask you in this class definitely so. definitely harsh no problem yeah. excuse yeah, me so thank, thank you thank you guys 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 we'll discuss tomorrow the wait, people are waiting for me thank you thank you sir thank you thank, thank you sir thank you bye bye thank you sir all of you understand the today's thank class रमादेवी गु Recording stopped.